The year is now 2020. Technology is on the rise and we can do so many amazing things. Like buy a pack of guitar strings on eBay for less than $2. What's up everybody, Jake here, and that's right, today we are reviewing Orphe guitar strings from ebay.com. Real quick, if this is your first time visiting my channel, do make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay notified on future videos. Also, make sure to go ahead and go like my Facebook page for daily updates on upcoming content. So, I recently got the idea to come up with what is the cheapest complete set of guitar strings you can buy. And on eBay, I found the Orphe guitar strings for about $1.50, all six strings in a standard super light 9 to 42 gauge set. Now, these came from China in like that envelope that has all the customs paperwork on it. So these strings went through a journey just to get here. Now, we're gonna go ahead and throw these on one of my high-end guitars and see how they sound. Now, the sound I'm not too concerned about. The thing I'm most concerned about is the feel. I'm kind of expecting like a cheap Epiphone factory string or like Fender Bullets, but we're just gonna have to throw them on my 89 HM Strat and see how they sound. Let's check them out. All right, so I've got the old strings off my guitar. I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at this packaging a little bit, and I'll go ahead and unbox them. So it's like that really cheap Chinese packaging. It's really loud, very crinkling. It's like half the thickness of like an Ernie Ball pack, but it's going for the same thing. Uh, so if you look on here, it says these have a hexagon-shaped core. I don't know if I believe that. If they do, that's pretty amazing, but if you guys are familiar with the string market right now, some very high trending strings are Diodario NYXLs, and the big thing with them is they have a hexagon core, and they're about three times the price of a normal pack of strings. This is, a pack of NYXLs is about $13, these are a dollar. So if they have a hexagon shaped core, I would be very, very surprised. Uh, notice these are made in 2014. Uh, I don't know what else really to say about them other than they are hopefully guitar strings. Let's check these out. Also, they've got the easy tear strip up here, but you're supposed to use scissors. Not sure what that's all about. Ooh, I see pink. Okay. I'm not going to say anything, but that packaging um alrighty then so you get a little uh i don't read chinese so i don't know what that says if you speak chinese and want to translate that go right ahead do i recognize any of these people no so little card there kind of interesting there's your flimsy packaging and your strings so they are coated or excuse me not coated but there are color coded on the balls just like the Adarios. they have a website i never knew that and their slogan is persist in one's old ways full of personality i don't know if that's a real phrase but i really can't get over this packaging <laughs> let's throw them on see how they go I want to stop and note that this is how the string came out of the package. All kinked up and all different sorts. So that's just one thing you're going to have to deal with if you buy extremely budget strings like this. Already the strings are on. First impressions, that was one of the most painful restrings I've ever had to go through. Uh, every string was really, really tough and wouldn't, and just kept kinking up. Uh, to get them to wrap around the posts correctly was nearly impossible. To kind of show you guys, you see I 
some of the strings here, I just had to deal with them popping out a little bit because they just would not go into place. And something funny, most of the strings, I didn't think were gonna be long enough. They were, but they seemed like they were gonna be too short to go to the end of the headstock and leave some slack, but that's pretty painful. They feel kind of rough. They don't feel as disgusting as I thought, but let's play them and see how they sound. <laughs> Alrighty, the uh, Orphe electric guitar strings. Let's get to the point. Would I recommend these? You know, maybe it's just like backups or, you know, just some cheap strings if you're in a pinch or on a budget. Uh, absolutely not. These are an absolute joke of a guitar string and are terrible. Uh, from what I hear from the demos, they sound like uh, They feel awful. I will admit they don't feel nearly as bad as I thought they were going to, but they feel pretty damn bad. Um, and putting them on the guitar was an absolute hassle. They wouldn't wind, they wouldn't get a correct wound on them. I mean, they're very stiff. They feel stiff. There's just not much to recommend here other than go to your local shop, play some cool guitars, and buy a set of Diodarios or Ernie Balls for five bucks. I have a feeling these won't last very long as I'm going to rip them off the second I'm done filming. This, I mean, I did not expect the world out of these. But the thing I want to get across with this video is should a seasoned guitar player buy these? No. Should a beginner player buy these? No. These are the equivalent to the strings they include in starter packs as the spare strings that most people just throw away. No, I do not recommend this product. And you want to know what else? I hurt my little finger restringing the guitar and they're probably not going to pay for the surgery I'm going to need. Anyway, guys, that's the Orphe guitar strings. Check them out if you want, but I'd recommend just going and buying yourself a mainstream brand of guitar string. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Throw a thumbs up on this video. And any comments, throw them down below. See you guys later.